G'day, welcome to Tech Math Channel, I'm Josh. Today I'm going to show you the easiest way of working out percentages in your head. So we'll start with an example. We have 61% of 80. Tell you what, you should be able to work this out in about 3 seconds, so give it a go. You done that yet? Well, the answer 61% of 80 is equal to 48.8. And if you got that answer, congratulations. If not, don't worry. I'm going to show you the easy trick for working these out in your head. So this is the way I work these out. So 61%, if we think about what this uh, thing here percentage means, that little symbol right there, which is the percentage symbol. Percent quite literally means per, well, per means divided by, and then we have cent, which means 100. Cent is in uh, 100 years or 100 cents in dollars. So percent quite literally means dividing by 100. And what we'd usually do, if we're working at percentage the old-fashioned way, we'd go 61 divided by 100, multiply by 80, and we'd get our answer. But here's the trick. You can divide by 100 at any stage you like to make this question work for you, okay? And then do the multiplication. Or what's more, instead of dividing by 100, you could do the same, which is dividing by 10, and dividing by 10, because 10 times 10 is equal to 100, it can make the question really simple. So let me show you what I mean by this. 61% of 80, what we're gonna to do to start off with is we're gonna work out this percentage part by dividing by 10 two times. And we're gonna do it across our equation. First off, we have 80, and we're gonna divide this by 10. 80 divided by 10, this is equal to eight. Then over here, to finish off the percent part, we're gonna be dividing 61 also by 10. 61 divided by 10, this is equal to 6.1, and now we do the multiplication. We have six multiplied by eight, this is 48. And to that, we're gonna add, well, 0 0.1 multiplied by eight, this is 0 0.8. This gives us our answer, 48 plus 0 0.8, our answer of 48.8. So that's a really champion move, right, for working out percentages in your head. So let's have a look at a few examples. We have 3% of 400, a nice easy one, to start off. The next one we're going to have is we have 80% of 70. Cool. Let's see what that is. Next, 24% of 60. And then finally, we have 13% of 1,200. So all these can be made a whole bunch simpler by dividing by 100 first or dividing by 10 and dividing by 10. What about you pause the video and give this a go or even better, do it in real time with me right now. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so 3% of 400. The easiest way we're gonna approach this is we're gonna divide by 100 first, and we're gonna divide 400 by 100. Doing that, we'll get rid of those two zeros there. So we're left with three multiplied by four. Three multiplied by four, this is really simple. Three multiplied by four is equal to 12. 3% of 400 is equal to 12. Next, we have 80% of 70. So rather than dividing by 100, this time we're going to divide by 10 and divide by 10. If we do this, we get the following. 80 divided by 10 is 8, and 70 divided by 10 is 7. We're left with 8 multiplied by 7. Well, 7 eighths, that's 56. So our answer is 56. 80% of 70, 56. All right, now we have 24% of 60. All right, this time I'm going to divide by 10 and divide by 10. So divide 60 by 10, that's pretty simple, we get 6. Divide 24 by 10, well we're just going to be moving the decimal place one time. We get 2.4. So now what we're left with is 2.4 multiplied by 6. So 2 multiplied by 6 is equal to 12, and 0.4 multiplied by 6 is equal to 2.4. We have 12 plus 2.4, our answer is 14.4. How did you go with that one? All right, finally we have 13% of 1,200. Now this one, really obvious, it's a bit of a no-brainer. You're gonna be dividing by 100, and it is this 1,200, we're gonna divide by 100 to get 12. So we're left with 13 multiplied by 12. 13 multiplied by 12, this is equal to 156, really simple. So that is the easiest way of working out percentages in your head, is to divide by 100, or divide by 10, divide by 10, and make your problem so much simpler. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. If you like it, please give me a lovely comment. If you don't like it, well, well you know, maybe something uh, not as lovely. 
If you do like this video also, remember to hit the like button and subscribe. Big shout out to my patrons. If you wish to support the Tech Math channel, there is a link in the description below. It's always well appreciated. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.